Have you ever wondered how armies prepare for the battles of tomorrow? In a world where technology evolves at lightning speed, one piece of artillery aimed to change the game forever, the XM-2001 Crusader. This self-propelled howitzer was envisioned as the ultimate weapon, designed to outclass its predecessor, the M109 Paladin, which had served faithfully for decades. But what happened to this ambitious project? Stick around as we dive into the intriguing story of the XM-2001 and discover why it never reached the battlefield. You won't want to miss the surprising twists and lessons from its journey. The story of the XM-2001 Crusader begins in the 1990s, a time when the US Army recognized the need to modernize its artillery capabilities. The M109 Paladin had been a reliable workhorse since the 1960s, proving its worth in conflicts around the globe. However, as warfare evolved, so did the requirements for artillery. The army sought a next-generation solution that could provide greater accuracy and firepower while ensuring the safety of its crew. In 1995, the army partnered with United Defense, supported by General Dynamics, to develop the XM-2001. This ambitious initiative aimed to create a self-propelled howitzer that was not only powerful but also sophisticated. Alongside the main artillery vehicle, an accompanying resupply vehicle, known as the RSV, was also developed to support the main system by transporting ammunition and fuel. The design of the XM-2001 was nothing short of revolutionary. The vehicle featured a unique hull and turret shape, designed for enhanced survivability and efficiency. It included composite armor to protect the crew and an advanced fire suppression system to safeguard against enemy attacks. This focus on crew safety was a crucial consideration, as the battlefield can be a chaotic and dangerous environment. One of the most significant advancements of the XM-2001 was its automatic loading system. This innovation reduced the crew size to just three members, a driver, a commander, and a gunner. This was a remarkable departure from older artillery systems, which often required five or more crew members. The automatic loader allowed the crew to focus on critical tasks, increasing efficiency on the battlefield. The heart of the XM-2001 was its experimental 155mm main gun known as the XM-297E2. This powerful weapon was designed to fire smart munitions, allowing for improved accuracy. Imagine a marksman hitting a target not just once but multiple times, with each shot landing in the same area for devastating effect. This capability could change the dynamics of how artillery supported ground troops in combat. Testing began, and the results were promising. By 2002, the XM-2001 had fired over 4,000 rounds, demonstrating its potential. However, as with any innovative technology, challenges emerged. Despite its capabilities, authorities deemed the system lacking in precision when it came to landing consecutive rounds. Additionally, mobility issues arose, raising concerns about its effectiveness on the battlefield. The cost of developing the XM-2001 also played a significant role in its fate. As the Army assessed its needs and the capabilities of the aging M109, it became clear that continuing the expensive developmental program for the XM-2001 might not be justified. After all, the M109 Paladin had proven to be a reliable and effective piece of equipment, adapted over the years to meet new challenges. Despite the decision to terminate the XM-2001 program in 2002, its legacy lives on. The lessons learned from its development continue to influence modern artillery systems today. Engineers and military strategists study the Crusader to understand what worked, what didn't, and how they can apply those insights to future projects. The sole completed XM-2001 vehicle now stands as a testament to innovation at Fort Sill in Lawton, Oklahoma. This impressive machine serves as a reminder of what could have been, a symbol of ambition, creativity, and the relentless pursuit of excellence in military technology. The story of the XM-2001 Crusader is not just about a vehicle that never entered service, it reflects the ongoing evolution of warfare and the need for constant adaptation. As technology advances, so too does the way armies prepare for conflict. The development of artillery systems like the XM-2001 demonstrates the Army's commitment to maintaining a technological edge. In today's world, where drones and precision-guided munitions dominate the battlefield, the concepts behind the XM-2001 continue to resonate. Its focus on crew safety, automation and accuracy is more relevant than ever. Future artillery systems will undoubtedly build upon the foundation laid by the Crusader, striving for even greater effectiveness and precision. As we reflect on the XM-2001, we are reminded of the importance of innovation in military technology. 
The drive to improve and adapt is what ensures the safety and success of our armed forces. This quest for progress, even in the face of challenges, is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. While the XM-2001 Crusader may not have achieved its intended purpose, its story offers valuable lessons for both military planners and engineers alike. The pursuit of excellence is a journey filled with twists and turns, but it is this very journey that leads to the breakthroughs that shape the future. So, what can we learn from the XM-2001? It teaches us that every ambitious project carries risks and uncertainties, but those risks can lead to invaluable insights. Innovation often involves trial and error, and sometimes, the greatest advancements come from projects that may not succeed in the traditional sense. As we move forward in this age of rapid technological change, the lessons from the XM-2001 will continue to inform the development of next-generation military systems. It encourages us to think boldly, embrace challenges, and strive for improvement in all areas of life. In conclusion, the tale of the XM-2001 Crusader is one of ambition, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. It reminds us that even in failure, there are lessons to be learned, paving the way for future successes. The legacy of the Crusader lives on, inspiring the next generation of military technology. If you enjoyed this journey through the fascinating story of the XM-2001, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights into military technology and history. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment sharing your thoughts on this incredible piece of artillery. Your engagement helps us continue bringing you captivating content, so join our community today. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing more amazing stories with you. Remember, the world of military technology is ever-evolving, and there's so much more to explore together. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.